today we get to do some balancing of cells. Basically what we found out yesterday, or the last week, is that some of these cells were um, not the same voltage. Um, it's been at rest for probably a year or so, um, sitting in storage, um, and it was probably used quite a bit. So ideally, we want to get them really close to being the same voltage. Um, we're going to do bottom balancing, so we're going to bring it, it's basically close to the, to the bottom now. Um, so we're going to keep it at that level and try to get them all equal. All right, all right. So this week's video is pretty simple with tools. Um, we used a few more, and we had to make a few for the wires. Um, but otherwise, it's basically a screwdriver, a nut driver, um, some wires to do the cell balancing, a couple of Allen wrenches for tightening um, some of the screws, and then some wire strippers. All right. So as we can take a look at this graph, um, this is something I did in Excel to kind of show myself uh, what cells were out of balance between the two batteries. Um, and we're, we're pretty close, um, but as you can see from the deltas, some are you know all, as close as two hundredths, um, which would be perfect. Um, one's one hundredth, so it's identical. What I did was actually line these up so that I could decide um, which ones to balance together. Um, so by balancing, um, the process here is you take uh, two wires, one on the positive on, on both cells and one on the negative of both cells, so you're paralleling them. So they'll equal out um, their voltage. Um, so, if, for example, number 7 and number 16, they're 8 hundredths of a volt out. So by doing that, hopefully it's 2.89. And that'll basically make um, for them all to be about 2 hundredths out um, in, in the end of the day, hopefully. Um, so here I'm going to take some wires um, that I already had, cut them up, um, strip them down, um, attach the clamps on one side of the battery, and, and basically take some a little bit longer um, wire because I didn't have enough length here. So I'm going to do a bunch of process and we'll fast forward through all of it. know what balancing means? No. Um, like, what does it sound like? Um, it sounds like balancing, like keeping your balance on like a balance beam. So even? Like balancing? Yeah. Balancing oh. electric. So with electric or, ba or batteries, we're balancing the voltage to be the same. Um, the goal is to have all 16 cells the same voltage. Ideally, well, it'd be great if they were always the same all the time, but that's not the actual case. They, they have different capacity, and they'll, they'll be able to discharge and charge at different rates. So they can become out of balance a lot sometimes um, if there's some really bad cells, but even in general use, they're going to be a little bit out of balance. So what we have are, we've measured all, this, all the, cell balance, or the cell voltages, and what I've done is um, between the two packs, I've kind of lined up the highest with the lowest voltage cell, and what we're going to do is put them in parallel. So what will happen is they'll basically equalize to a voltage right in the middle, um, or close to the middle. They're going to lose a little voltage because of the resistance to the wires, but they're, they're going at such a low, low amperage, and it's going to take a long time. But they're probably going to be, um, so I've estimated some values just based on averages. Um, hopefully we'll get to that point, and if that's the case, we'll measure them all again. And then we can decide if we're going to do it again, or we have some parts coming in um, later that will help us actually charge um, some up. So, any questions about balancing? No. No, I don't think so. No questions. You guys are experts now? <laughs> yes. Yeah. All right. So the way we're going to balance them, we're going to put wires from the positive of one cell to the positive of another, and then negative to the negative. And what, what type of configuration would that be? Series? Parallel. So you guys guess the two different answers. Which one's right? Parallel. Series. Okay. So it's in parallel. Oh. Um, if you think of positive to positive, it's going to be parallel, so it's not like a remote. And series would be actually how these are going to be all in series, and that will increase the voltage. In this case, um, I want to. we're trying to balance them out, so we're connecting the two completely. 
Um, so normally you would put them in parallel and then go to another source, but we're actually going to connect the two batteries like that. Um, so we were, right now we have the, uh, and I've renumbered them all the way 1 through 16, so we have no, cell number 7 to cell number 16, and cell is 2.85 and 16 is 2.93, and the average of those will be 2.89. So if we take a look now, and this has been running for just a little bit, um, it's at 2.90, 2.89 actually, so it's been running for probably 10 minutes, 2.9, 2.89, so I'm going to let it run a little bit longer, um, but it's getting close to balancing now. Yeah, that's right, two days. Um, they balance pretty quickly and then they, they fade out at the bottom end, but here's the results. Um, again, really, really good results, I feel like. We're going to have to see once we start using the cells, um, I'll, I'll check them again. Thanks for watching everyone, this week's video on cell balancing. If you liked it, please subscribe and like the video. If you have questions, go ahead and comment below. Don't forget to check out the last video from last week on series and parallel work.